new from Eureka is Burning Paradise, directed by the always wonderful Ringo Lam. This was released in 1994. This is the second time I've seen this movie and it's just an absolute joy to go back to. This is one of those movies that just gets more amped, more exciting and more thrilling the more times I watch it. It's all about Fong Sai Yuk, a young man who's travelling with his uh, guidance of a monk, a person that's looking after him, training him in the ways. Um, very quickly on they get attacked there's a vicious battle full of blood and guts that's just so exciting and thrilling on the run from this army that are chasing after them they bump into this woman and together all three are captured by the clan of the Red Lotus a fractured group of the army that seem to be living out in a mountain <laughs> From the outside, the start of this, ep this film, we have the, the bright outside, the sort of sand, the sky, the beautiful landscapes, the forever horizon, and we are quickly transported into the confined spaces of this mountain where it's dark and just looks horrible. Uh, confined spaces, traps everywhere. Everything about this is just there to wear you down whether you're a prisoner or people that are working there, as we see the crazed general in this one who has been warped and twisted and now plays with people's lives like it's fun. Something to entertain him. There's lots of other characters we meet along the way, plenty of other Shaolin monks that are trapped there, used as slaves to kind of do uh, whatever bidding these guys want or for their entertainment. And we have a Shaolin monk who seems to have switched sides, working for this crazed general. The driving force behind Burning Paradise is the absolutely exquisite, bloody, jaw-dropping action set pieces that this has. Ringo Lam pulls no punches here in creating some of the most visceral, gory, thrilling and just ridiculously out there sequences I've seen. And I appreciate the movie. Every time they came around they were highlights and they just kept getting better and better. As we watch, say, the sparring session between the the our hero Fong Sai Yuk and the, the, the Shaolin monk that switched sides and just seeing sort of like testing each other and showing off their abilities and the tenacity that they have and how they're willing to push each other as far as they possibly can. It's exhilarating. The bad guy is so over the top maniacal. You see it in many sequences where he takes great pleasure in hurting people and showing how ruthless a leader he can really be. Uh, we follow many side co uh, stories in this one as we see our um, mentor monk as he's kind of cast aside. We've got the main story of our character. We've got the female that comes with them who ends up becoming a concubine for the general and how she can really pull her own and fight back against this. We also get the, the sort of second in command story as well as some of the monks that have been slaves. There's a lot packed into this. And like I said, it's not short in the action. Everything else looks great. The production values, the story, the script, it's all good. But what really elevates it are these unbelievable action set pieces that are just simply jaw-dropping, that are a wonder to behold and something that I could just rave about non-stop. They are bloody, violent, kinetic, exciting. Uh, sometimes you can see the, the sort of thought process behind it and how they achieve certain things, reversed in films, the way they're using wires, but it's all just so much fun and it's engaging and just a joy to watch. Do yourself a favour. Burning Paradise is outstanding. It's a movie that you want your collection. It's a little bit different from the typical uh, martial arts ones because there's so much effects and gore and blood through into this and it's a very different setting. I would 
highly recommend picking this up. I'm so glad it's came uh, out in the UK from Eureka. Let's dive in, have a little look at the extras. Here we are in the disc for Burning Paradise. We have the Cantonese mono audio. We have an audio commentary by Frank Jeng. There is a archival interview with Choi Hark, which runs at 4 minutes 29, talking about making a movie that he would have loved to have seen as a kid. Then we have the original theatrical trailer for this one, which runs at 2 minutes 50. In addition to that, you get a 20 page booklet uh, with an essay by James Oliver regarding the film's lack of success, the kind of effects that it had, and how we never got another Ringo Lam period film ever again because of the poor box office that this one had. There's loads of other stories, it's a great article as well, well worth reading. Um, although there's not much extras on this disc, you don't need it when the film's as entertaining as Burning Paradise. So there we have it. Burning Paradise gets my highest recommendation. It is an absolute joy to watch. You have to check this one out. It's ridiculously over the top. Highly entertaining. I would love to know your thoughts on Burning Paradise if you've seen it. Let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, fell somewhere in the middle. Can't wait to read those comments. There's more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff. And then in the description box below are links to the Patreon membership programme, manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching.